What's up guys? My name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code grind. Um basically n repeated elements in size 2n array. In an array A of size 2n, there are n plus 1 unique elements. Exactly one of these elements is repeated n times. Okay. So, return the element that is repeated n times. Okay, so essentially this question is pretty basic. You're given a, an array of 2n of size 2n, and one of these elements is repeated n times. Return the element that is repeated n times. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 3, the size is 4, and the which is 2n. So something is repeated twice, and that's the value 3. 3 is repeated twice. In this case, the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Some number is repeated 3 times, and, and in this case, it's 2, because 2 is repeated 3 times. 1, 2, 3, and return 2. In this case, the value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, there's 8 elements. One element is repeated 4 times. Um, let's see, 5 is repeated 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, five is repeated four times. We're returning five, right? The element five. Okay, so you guys try doing this yourself. I will come back with the and tell you the solution. Basically, it is not that difficult. Just yeah, it's not that difficult. If you know that a certain data structure, definitely help you in this case. It is not that difficult. But come back when you figure at for an hour and then if you could figure this out then I'll tell you how to do it but yeah all right guys so I'm gonna do it this with you guys right now first in order to do this you need to know the understand the data structure of maps what we're gonna do is we're gonna map every single value with the number of occurrences it has in the array so how do we do that we're gonna go through the array of of uh, we're gonna go through the, every single value in the array and basically, we're going inside this map. We are going to add uh, a at i. We're, we're going to add every occurrence that occurs into the, in inside this array. So if 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 a has a value one, it's going to set whatever value at one is going to add it. So initially, one probably has zero. Then it adds by one, so one's going to have one. Two, and then the next time this loop goes, two is going to have the value of one because two originally was zero. And now we map it the number of currents. Plus one is going to have two. Three is going to have one. Then three is then after when it sees three again, three is going to have two. All right. After you go through occurrences of all the values in this array, basically we want to go through our map. So how do we do that? There's a there's a way to do this really easily. Um, go through values of map in C++. Uh, let's see. There's much. There's a better way to do it, and there's a not good way to do it. There's an easy way, and there's a hard way. I'd rather go do the easy way, because the easier way is much faster. Uh, oh, this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For auto const every key value pair. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, so for every, get the key value pair. So for every um, auto const, for every key value inside occurrence, basically I'm going to go through all the key value pairs and I'm going to get the ones that has the value n. That is repeated n times and I'll return whatever uh, whatever value that is. Uh, so in order to get that, I need to take um, so a is a is this a a has a size of two n. I need to get the value n. So I'm gonna do n is gonna equal to a divided by two, and that's gonna give me n. Now I'm gonna go through my occurrences, and then I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my um, I gotta check the value, the element that has occurred repeated n times. So if if uh, value is equal to n so values the occurrences because I'm mapping each key value then I'm going to return what am I going to return? I'm going to return 
key. Yeah. Value is equal to n. I'm going to return through key. Else return negative 1. And this should work. I, I, ideally, this should work. Oh, a dot size. Okay, a dot size. Yep. Accepted. Yeah, okay. So that's basically it's only faster than 9%. Yeah, this is how you would do it. I don't know how else you would do it. Let's see other people's solution. Oh, wait, there's a solution. Count. Okay, yeah, that's what I did. Compare. Okay, we are going to I'm going to I'm going to look at this and I try to explain their solution of it. This is seems way more complicated, but I'll try to explain it. Okay, so their unique solution is actually very, very hacky. When I say hacky, it only works in this specific problem. It wouldn't work for other problems. So, yeah, um, if you think of it in this case, if you're given an array of 2n elements, right? If and one, at least one element is repeated n times. That, that means half of the array is one is going to be repeated, right? Half of the array is going to be repeated. If half of the array is repeated, no matter how much we shuffle it, for one of the repeated elements, there has to be another repeated element at least three positions away. Okay? Otherwise, the array, the array isn't 2n. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you if you look at this case, um, if you look how they they explain it here, if at least one of the major elements has the same value and is a neighbor within a radius of three, then all of the n major elements neighbors have a, a distance of at least four. Then we need an array whose length is at least 4n minus 4 to contain these n elements. Therefore, by contradiction, th this would work. Okay, so their saying is as that because the half of the array is repeated, in order for this to work, there's going to be at least one repeated element and three positions away from what we're currently looking at. Okay, so this is really hacky. Basically, if I start at, I'm going to go through three positions away. I'm going to go through three positions away from whatever I'm looking at, and I'm going to go through all elements of the array, right? And I'm going to go through every three positions, not every three positions. I'm going to go through, I'm basically going to go through these, th these positions of the array and I'm going to check like a radius of three. That's what it means. Okay. That's what this bounds is for. Okay. Then if, if at least one of them is repeated in these three positions, then it must be the value that is repeated n times. This is so hacky. It wouldn't work in other situations though, but based on this problem, it would work. Yeah, and it, it works. This is the solution for n repeated elements in size 2n array uh rate comment subscribe uh, i hope you guys understand what the idea is but sometimes i i don't i'm not actually not 100 percent sure why this is what it is but basically it works like that yeah